guys, what's up? This is Corinne and I am the photographer at Wonderland Boudoir. And today I'm gonna to bring you seven things that you should do before a boudoir session. Tip number one, get a good night's sleep. The minimum amount of time that one should be sleeping a night is six. However, getting seven to eight hours of sleep a night is essential to you because you perform better, you look better, your skin looks amazing, right? But you'll also look amazing in your photos too when you look well rested. So yes, you're gonna have a makeup artist that's gonna like help with those under eyes, but give the makeup artist a beautiful canvas to work on and make sure that you are well rested. Tip number two, make sure you drink a lot of water, especially a week or two before your session. Drinking water is just a central period to your everyday life. And what water does, and especially when you drink the adequate amount, is it pushes and releases all those toxins outside of your body. This helps give you glowing and beautiful skin. And that's what you want in your boudoir photos. photos. Glowing and beautiful skin. So make sure that you drink plenty of water. I suggest to about a liter, liter and a half. I know different people have different calculations of how much water you're supposed to drink. But do yourself a favor, make sure you're drinking a lot of water. Tip number three, and I've said this in previous videos, I'm gonna say it in this video and I'm gonna say it in future videos, have your nails done. Please have your nails done. We take our nails for granted a lot too. And having your nails done, polished, cleaned, and unchipped are really going to make your photos beautiful. Because when you're looking at your pictures and you see that your nails are not done, that's all you're going to focus on. And if you're like me and you don't like color on your nails, you can, when you go to um, the manicure pedicure when you get your nails done, you can ask for that clear coating that they use for French manicures. It's this very healthy, really opaque pink color and it looks beautiful in photographs. So make sure that you have your nails done. Tip number four. I, I pretty much say this tip in every video, but I need you guys to understand where I'm coming from. Please try on your outfits before you get to the session. Yes, I know that I'm gonna beat this point like a dead horse. That's not how the saying goes. Whatever, okay? I'm gonna beat this point to death. Try on your lingerie prior to coming to your boudoir session. You want to feel comfortable in your session. What I suggest is putting on your outfits, including your robes and everything on, to make sure you look good. Also, when you do that, put on your heels, put on the whole outfit, walk around the house for 10-15 minutes to make sure you feel comfortable and that you can move comfortably in it. Because when you feel comfortable inside the outfits that you're wearing, it's going to reflect in your photos. So make sure you try on your outfits before your boudoir session. Tip number five, and I make this mistake all the time, and I'm probably going to keep making this mistake, even though I'm telling you guys not to make the mistake. Remove the tags from your clothes. There's nothing more annoying when I'm going in and retouching or editing the photos, and I see that a tag is still on an outfit. In the look can be perfect but the tag is the most annoying place that it takes me forever to photoshop that out so remember to remove your tags from your outfits tip number six make sure you have your wardrobe and everything packed at least a day before your session i suggest doing it two days beforehand the reason why you want to make sure that you pack a day or two before or and not the day of is because a lot of times you're gonna forget to put something in your bag and you're gonna be like oh shit I forgot that you want to avoid that mistake so pack it at least two days beforehand then you can go audit your bag to make sure everything's in there and then when you're walking around or you're doing your daily activities you'll remember oh man I need to put this inside the bag so you can put that inside the bag too so making sure that your bag is uh, packed properly before your boudoir session is also going to relax you and you're gonna have peace of mind when you come in. Tip number seven I did six. I don't know if I said there were six tips at the beginning or seven, but there are seven tips. Bring physical copies of the pictures and of the hair and makeup that inspire you for your session. When you work with me at Wonderland Boudoir, I'm gonna have you put it together a Pinterest board, which is gonna serve as your mood board for what you wanna do for your boudoir session. 
I suggest that you also bring this board with you as well. Bring it on your phone and you can shoot the hairstylist and the makeup artist what you're going for. This is going to be great for them because they see a lot of looks anyway. But when you bring it physically with you, it's just going to reassure that you're going to get what you want to get. What the makeup artist and the hairstylist are going to do is they're going to properly customize that look that you want for your face and your body type. So make sure that you bring copies of the hair and makeup that inspire you for your boudoir session. Alright guys, so that, were, that was the 7 tips on how to have an effective boudoir session. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you have any more suggestions on what one should bring to a boudoir session, please leave them down below and let's share ideas and let's create a community. Again, I am Corinne, I'm the photographer at Wonderland Boudoir. If you want to book a session with me, feel free to do so. Just go to wonderlandboudoir.com. Also, feel free to check me out on all socials at Wonderland Boudoir. And yes, I'm the photographer at The Urban Jungle. So feel free to check me out there. I'm going to leave all the links on the blog post and everything below so you can check it out. Alright guys, peace out and y'all have a great day. Bye.